again, folks. I came out here and I didn't turn on the camera, and then I caught this monster-sized bass. <laughs> it wasn't a monster, but he bit really, relatively quick and, and uh, with some aggression, and it was fun nonetheless. Let's say goodbye. Thank you. Um, my wife and daughter has a, a little birthday party to go to this afternoon, so I decided, I hope there's not a, a lot of wind noise, I'll try to keep it uh, blocked. Um, I decided to come out and fish for a couple of hours this afternoon. Um, I've got a little white bass rig. I'm not gonna lie, at all. Uh, Richard Jean was fishing with this, Richard Jean the fishing machine, man. He was fishing with this rig, uh, and I, I just did the best that I have. I learned uh, I learned a couple of new knots today, this morning. Um, that's what fishing's all about, honestly. It's learning new techniques, getting out there and trying them, and um, trying them on your own home lake. And that's what I'm doing this morning. But uh, that bass just came off of my go-to over here in this structure, which is it's a little messed up right now. But uh, let me set that right here. See if we can get that on there. My go-to over here is this Christy Crawl. This color is watermelon. Uh, I believe it's called watermelon. Um, I don't know, honestly, something watermelon. But it is a it is an effective color for me. I have a lot of faith in this little bait, and I always like these little swing heads. This is a little different one than I normally use, but it's getting it done. I just got here. I mean, I haven't been here in five minutes and settled in on a little spot. I've got some brush I'm fishing, and, and there's a few takers down there. This bait still looks okay, so I'm gonna fish it a little bit more. Uh, I'll show you on the graph what I'm doing here. You can see, I've got some kind of structure. I don't know what it is, but there's some fish holding on it. And I'm just tossing it, really, just a little bit beyond that and just pulling it through and trying not to get hung up more than anything and first one resulted in a fish so let's see if we can repeat that ah I, I just love it i will say he's probably one of my favorite youtube anglers richard gene i love uh how excited he gets i feel it every time i go i know what he's talking about it is a sport unlike any other <laughs> I love what he's doing out there, man. He just goes and has a ball, and he's by himself. That's how I like to fish. Oh, I like taking my wife and my, my little girl, too, but they don't like going. They're fair-weather fishermen. They don't like going whenever it's, uh, oh, no, there we go, when it's uh, 40 degrees and windy and all that good stuff. Guys, I want y'all to look at that. That happened right after I turned the camera off. <laughs> it happens all the time, but <laughs> no, it don't. Who am I kidding? I'm excited. This is fun. Woo, that's a good fish. That's a pretty largemouth bass right there. I don't care who you are, what part of the country you are fishing in. That is a good fish right there. It's a solid, solid fish. It's healthy. It's a good looking fish. And he came off of that same rig I've been throwing. Um, man, I'm gonna take a little better picture of that on my phone. Good fish, though. Let's see how long you are. You are 18. Pretty fish. Let's let you go. Thank you. That's two. 
so uh, back to what I was saying this area holds quality fish I don't know why but it does that's just that's just proof right there um, and that thing is healthy looking these fish look great and they are fun to catch he came out a little different area and I hopped that thing just a little bit quicker than I had been throwing them. Yep. Kind of learned my technique here. I tell you what, it's hard to calm down, get your nerves back settled down. It takes several casts before you you really get calmed back down to where you're back to feeling bites and your senses coming back to you right now on a fish high. That was a good fish uh, this time of year for me anyway. I saved the lure, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, boy, I'd be tell you, I saved the lure, didn't I? But I broke a $100 pole saving a $4 lure. Never grab your rod like I just did. It was a good rod, too. Dang it. Well, I guess that tells me what I need to do. Wasn't that good. Falcon. Man. All right. That's fishing. That's part of it. Sometimes that happens. Shake it off. The one that we broke off already. Uh, we will, yeah, we'll fish that. We will definitely do that. Now I'm fishing a lot of cover, so I don't want a leader. This got a leader. About to fool around and break this rod if I'm not careful. Well, to wrap up that fishing trip, so I tied that lure onto another pole that I had, but it didn't have the same feel to it. It was a spin cast setup, which I like, but the right just didn't feel as sensitive. I could not feel the structure bouncing off the bottom. I mean, the lure bouncing off the structure, bouncing off the bottom. So um, about, I don't know, 30 minutes into it, I just wasn't feeling it. My daughter called, said, wrap it up. They were headed home from their birthday party. We had some uh, other some uh, family coming over to hang out, and uh, so okay, I went ahead and came in. But it was still a good fishing trip, and uh, I'm headed to Cabela's today. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.